Hey, how's it going? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. It's the 31st of October, and you know what that means? Yep, it's Halloween. But where did this whole Halloween thing come from? Ghost Leela found out. No one knows exactly where this spooky tradition began, but most people agree it started with a Celtic festival called Samhain, celebrated in parts of Europe. It marked the end of autumn and the Celtic New Year. It was believed that on that night, just before the New Year began, the gates between the living and the dead would open. To ward off any spooky spirits, villagers would light bonfires, leave offerings of food, and disguise themselves as ghosts to blend in. Later on in Europe, there was a Christian holiday called All Hallows' Eve on October 31st, which happened to be around the same time as Samhain. They mixed together to become Christmas. Just joking, Halloween. Which found its way to the US, where it really took off. Like, really took off. This year, Americans are set to spend $12.8 billion on the spooky tradition for themselves and $500 million on costumes for their pets. It's become more popular in Australia recently, but not everyone's a huge fan. Some don't like the idea of trick-or-treating, and some are just against all the unhealthy food that comes with it. But for this one night of the year, that won't stop many people joining in. This is Ghost Leela signing out. People in Sydney woke up to a smoky haze over the city today. Completely unrelated to Halloween, it's actually from bushfires burning on the state's mid-north coast. Sydney siders have been warned to stay indoors as much as possible because the air could be dangerous for some people to breathe. Billionaire Elon Musk has just done his bit to help out Team Trees, donating $1 million. We told you about Team Trees earlier this week. It's a massive campaign by YouTuber MrBeast to plant 20 million trees by 2020. A bunch of famous YouTubers have got on board and some entrepreneurs, apparently. The campaign's already raised more than $10 million. James Baldwin has just been crowned the world's fastest gamer. The 22-year-old Brit won a two-week competition combining gaming and real-life track racing. Imagine being thrown into the real-life equivalent of your favourite game. That's pretty much what happened to these guys. They're some of the best in the world at car racing games, which is why they've been chosen to take part in the E-Race of Champions World Final, a massive international motorsport competition. And it turns out all that game playing has taught them a few skills for real-life car racing too. After two weeks of battling it out in game races and real track races, James Baldwin claimed the top spot. Now he'll start an intensive driver development program and kick off a season as a professional racing driver with a GT sports car team in 2020. I can't believe I've won World's Fastest Gamer season two. Uh, going from a gamer to a racing driver, hopefully for a long period of time as well. If I can make it work, I, I can't believe it. During the comp, they were assessed on things like track awareness, car control and pace. And James says it's been an incredible experience. The two weeks has been unforgettable. Like, you know, we've seen so many views, driven so many cars on so many tracks, met so many people that you'll just never forget. And now, because it's Halloween... Oh, wait. <laughs> and now, because it's Halloween, we thought we'd celebrate everyone's favourite spooky orange vegetable with this next segment. It's Hello Pumpkin. Forget one jack-o'-lantern, how about 7,000? This is the great jack-o'-lantern blaze in New York. I think there's a big wow factor when you see it for the first time. People cannot believe what we're able to do with jack-o'-lanterns. There are dinosaurs, a windmill, and my personal favourite, a working carousel. What does this look like to you? Kind of like a jack-o'-lantern, hey? Well, NASA thinks so. It released this photo of the sun snapped by one of its observatories. Spooky. And because honestly, we just can't get enough of animals playing with pumpkins, check out what these creatures were doing at Sydney's Taronga Zoo today. Keepers wanted to raise awareness for these troubled species while also giving them a tasty Halloween treat. While some just dived right in, others took their time. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on seeing more episodes just like this one. Well, without all the spooky stuff.
Happy trick or treating! It's the 31st of October, and you know what that means? Yep, it's Halloween. But where did this whole Halloween thing come from? Ghost Leela found out. 